Hello, fabulous superstar Virgo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of April, 2023. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month, without a doubt. Big moves happening in the sky now. It is going to be on the 6th of the month that we will have this month's full moon. Now, this full moon takes place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with the money you earn, money you spend, self-esteem, and self-worth. All of that is covered here, along with the possessions that you think are worth taking on and maybe what are not. Okay, so here's the thing with this full moon. It's making some interesting aspects, mainly to Jupiter across the sky. And when I see that, to me, that's always like overestimating, overdoing, overshooting the mark. And there are a few different ways that can happen at this time. As much as I want to tell you, you know, be mindful of spending at a time like this, uh, because this can be one of those moments where you may think about acquiring new things, especially things like actual possessions, and you may be feeling like taking it on. Uh, I would normally say that would be a good time to do it because once we navigate a little bit further, right around the eighth of the month is when Mercury will go into shadow. And it is going to be as we navigate to the 20th, under the light of a solar eclipse, we are going to have Mercury go retrograde. So when I look at these energies coming up, Mercury retrograde sort of notoriously not the time to be purchasing things, <laughs> a lot of things, especially big item purchases. And that's because with Mercury retrograde, what I find, Mercury goes direct and you change your mind. That tends to be pretty universal that I've seen again and again. But having said that, uh, yeah, some of that feeling of figuring out whether or not it's worth spending at a time like this, uh, that may be there. Uh, if it is that new opportunities show up for you where it comes to earning money, understand that there are key details that you might not be seeing. There might be over-promising playing out now or again, overshooting the mark in some way uh, in terms of how much you might earn but also, yes, how much you might spend at a time like this. Now, when we have such important financial energy, it means that the money you need is there. It's just that the universe uses the vehicle of finances in order to help you to understand spiritual lessons, which is really the point of it all. Now, having said that, many, many Virgos aren't even going to experience this energy in the context of finances. It's going to have to do with self-love and self-esteem and you looking at that in new and different ways. Uh, you get a chance to really see what it is that you believe within yourself that's healthy and root yourself in healthy self-love that is balanced and true. As we navigate further, it is going to be uh, another part of the sky for you that starts to be lit up in very important ways with some big energies. So first of all, on the 11th, we are going to have the luckiest day of the year. This is Jupiter meeting the sun in the sky. And this is happening in the other financial sector of the sky, having to do with the wealth, your relationship with financial institutions, um, and your ability to access resources, whether that's grants, loans, or it has to do with uh, benefits you may qualify for. So that may come into focus uh, with this very fortunate energy, but this part of the sky also has to do with transformation, regeneration. It has to do with psychological and physical renewal as well. And so this energy being so fortunate, I have to say, with Jupiter, you have to tap into the energy consciously. You have to work with it to maximize the potential. And so, yes, this could be a time when you may be able to have avenues of greater prosperity and wealth show up for you, but you have to apply for some of those grants or loans or bursaries and things. Um, if it is that you are trying to qualify for certain benefits, well, this is where you want to follow up in that regard in some way. Um, if it is that you are thinking about sort of renegotiating the terms of a loan, tap into this very powerful energy. I think it'll end up working to your advantage that much more. And this will be the moment to do just that, to tap into it. Now, if it is that you have been actively working on meaningful change, physical, psychological, or otherwise, 
this can be a time that feels like a breakthrough. It can feel like there's a lot of healing uh, and a real sense of growth that could happen for you at this time that stays with you well after you navigate forward from here. And so this is fortunate in other ways as well. If you're coming to agreements with other people, financial agreements, for example. Uh, this energy is also fortunate where it comes to surgery as well. So if it is, if it happens, it shows up. You have to trust your life, of course. But if it shows up that perhaps surgery is needed in some way, um, well, try to schedule it right around this Sun-Jupiter uh, conjunction. I think you'll be that much more grateful uh, for how it is that this energy would represent um, healing and outcomes that you really like at this time. Now, the thing is that this part of the sky, as I said, is lit up in many ways. We navigate forward to the 20th, and that is when we are going to have a new moon solar eclipse. I want you to think back just a month earlier. Last month, we had a new moon at zero degrees, the very beginning of this same part of the sky that Jupiter is in. Now we're going to have a new moon eclipse, which is like a jacked up new moon. It's like a new moon, but like 30 times more powerful, happening in a concentration point at the very end, at 29 degrees of this part of the sky for you. And so you can see here that there's a sense by the time we get to the eclipse, and eclipses are not energies to work with. Eclipses say, stay open go with the flow, go along for the ride, see what it is that the universe has planned for you. Eclipses are not energies to actively work with, but it does say if something shows up and you got to work on it, then yeah, do that. But don't necessarily go pursuing because it's such a wild card energy that it could go in all kinds of directions that you hadn't necessarily anticipated. But for all that, this can represent a moment where in an instant there is healing that takes place. Um, this can represent a moment where in an instant that money you really needed, that resource, that loan, that scholarship, it shows up, it comes together very quickly at this time. It could be at this moment as well that you have a real breakthrough. If you've been in therapy, for example, physical or psychological, it could be at this time that you're finally accepting some truth that changes everything, that leads you to make a major decision. It's a turning point moment for you in some way. Now, if it is that you are pursuing possibilities for wealth, whether that's emotional, spiritual, or practical wealth, well, this can be where those new opportunities show up and you get to run with them. We've got Pluto in somewhat of a square with this eclipse, uh, which does suggest that the opportunity to put in the time to put in the work that's going to allow you to transform your circumstances and the motivation to transform your circumstances very high at this time. But we've also got Jupiter close in the sky to this eclipse, which does say the blessings are there as well. And part of the new may very well represent you feeling blessed at this time. Now, where it comes to matters of love, look, yes, Venus is going to move into the top of your sky. So love and respect are going to be important to you. Uh, and that move happens on the 11th. I actually think what's happening in that deeply consequential wealth-oriented part of the sky uh, could end up being much more significant, at least for now. And that is because not only does this part of the sky have to do with some of the things I mentioned, like wealth and transformation, but it also has to do with vulnerability and intimacy, uh, feeling pulled in a particular direction or bonding very deeply to a person. And that tells me that not only with the luckiest day of the year happening here, but also that eclipse, love is about to feel like it has a will of its own. So for those of you open to meeting someone new, I think that right around the 11th is when you may hear of some possibility, perhaps an invitation or something that seems interesting for you to do. But it really is as we start moving towards the eclipse that chances are there's going to be some very random, unexpected interaction with another person 
that feels like it pulls you towards them that much more. Now, what you do with it is always up to you to decide in light of your unique circumstances. But I got to say, the passion, desire, and drive is very high under the light of the eclipse. For those of you just starting to date someone, I think a sky like this is so all or nothing. It is very make or break. You are going to see some truth about this person and either you'll be all in, immersed in a connection with them, or you're going to say, no way, this is not for me. And you'll make a decision to go in a whole other direction. Your choice will bring you peace. That is for sure. And it'll be true to you. For those of you in an established bond, the overwhelming majority are going to find this a time of bonding that much closer together. There may be a focus on your partner's income in some way, and especially around the 11th, there could be some very good news in that regard. But for all that, this is a time of bonding and vulnerability and honesty. For a very small percentage of Virgos out there, if you felt for a while that you're not in the right relationship for you, all of that truth is going to be right there for you to look at along with you making a choice as to what is right for you navigating forward from here. What I love about this month for you, there's so much here. It's a powerful and meaningful astrological moment. I am going to say I love the luckiest day of the year, of course, on the 11th. Uh, that can be a time that leads you towards greater wealth, greater prosperity, but also a real sense of change could find you now. In some way, many Virgos may feel as if through self-honesty, they are regenerated in some way, ready to begin again, and that much more authentically you going forward from here. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this each and every week for each and every sign for as low as just $3 a month with Choose Your Membership Rate. Now, higher tiers get you things like all access passes to Synchronicity University events, consultations with me, and so much more. All of this in the superstar space at NadiaShawSuperstars.com. Links are in the description below. Thank you again for watching. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.